Grant Powell is a lifelong entrepreneur with a diverse background. He's been a stuntman, a contractor, a track and field star, you name it. Today, Grant owns and operates a branch of home financing solutions, the Mortgage Center, and his greatest joy is helping people achieve their financial dreams. Welcome to the show, Grant. Thanks. It's so great to have you here. What a, you sound like a, I, I have a pretty diverse background myself, uh, but I haven't written a book yet, and uh, you've written a book, The Alter Alternative Mortgage Financing, yes. Leveraging Your Best Option. Uh, you are really passionate about helping people achieve oh, thank their financial you. Thank dreams. You. So tell us about the book. Yeah, it was through the years just dealing with different clients and, and seeing the obstacles that they face um, and the stories of overcoming different challenges um, and questions, simple questions that a lot of clients have. So I wanted to sort of share a bunch of the information so that to help educate uh, applicants that are looking to get a mortgage uh, about the different types of financing and where to get it and what sort of uh, things to look for as far as whether it's fees, uh, hidden costs, that kind of thing. You know, getting a mortgage, I mean, that seems like the simplest thing ever. You go down to your bank and you fill out the application and they tell you what, what you know, how you can buy a house. But there's, there's so much more behind that. And you, having been in business for yourself, understand that a lot of people don't fit the old time structure where they have a steady job, the credit's perfect. Yeah, you're correct. It, it's, um, especially with the new regulations, it gets tougher and tougher every year. Um, and then also when you look at it too, people have so many more diverse types of income than they used to. A lot of people, you know, they're entrepreneurs mixed with part-time income, that kind of thing. So it's, it's uh, many options that they sort of have to look for to uh, better their um, chance of getting a mortgage. So the, the meltdown in the whole financial world in 2008 was caused by a, essentially a lot of abuse of the whole concept of financing properties. And you talk about more regulations, that's all over, you know, all over North America, there's more regulations. So that means that it, it's important for someone that's looking for a first time home or they are, want to move up or they want to take some money out of their house to talk to someone like you. Yeah, you're correct. It's, um, it, it's having that plan in place, or at least understanding your options. So when you're looking at doing different types of financing or looking at possibilities, um, you actually know the process and you know the timing of when to do these certain, whether it's equity takeouts and, and stuff like that, um, in order to best leverage your existing property to either get more property or to pay out debt or that kind of thing. And that's what I sort of coverage, uh, cover in the, in the book. It's leverage your best options. So leverage what you have to make your options, um, you know, the best possible direction uh, to make it come true. So give me a couple of examples about that because most people have most of their money, like the average person has a lot of money tied up in their family home. Yes. So, can, you know, you're, you have ways of them accessing that money uh, to provide a better lifestyle, but also, in some cases, to make more income for themselves. Yes, correct. Correct. And it's, it's the timing. Um, sometimes, with, especially with debt consolidation uh, or refinancing, it's the timing of making sure income and your credit is not pushed down as to a low level before you actually take the steps to refinance. So we have a lot of people that watch this show that are business owners themselves. And oftentimes they don't fit the boxes that the banks, you know, it doesn't check yes. off properly. So you can help them. Yes, that's in, in this book, there's a bunch of alternative type financing for, especially for entrepreneurs that uh, don't fit the re regular bank mold. Um, Cause there's all different um, options there. And the intention is to get those clients into whatever type of alternative financing to begin with and then try to take those steps so that they are bankable. So we promise to share with our viewers the top three mistakes that people make when they're taking equity out of their house. And the number one mistake is people wait too long, especially when it comes to debt consolidation or people that want to um, start a business 
and they want to release some equity before they start the business, they wait too long to either their credit score is, is too low that we can't refinance them into a regular low interest rate mortgage, or in the, in the case that they're starting a business, they wait till they started the business and then now they're not, we can't get them the, the lowest interest rate mortgage because they're not gainfully employed. And by the way, note to self, every single time you start a business, it's gonna, you're gonna need more money than you thought you needed. So go yes. get more money up front when the, when, before you've gotten into business for yourself. Exactly. While you have a regular income, build up your credit if you're planning to start a business. Yes, exactly. And then you can always, if you have excess capital, you can always, once your business is up and running, you can always put that back onto your mortgage. Right, so, number two. Number two is fail to plan a budget. And I see that all the time with people that go into a renovation and then they get halfway through the renovation and they've run out of money. So then it's, they're not bankable now because their, their house is ripped apart. So we can still get them financing, but it's more of on a, on a private type financing, so a short term fix. So that's really important, and that's the same with, um, like you say, with the business for self, is planning that budget and, and maybe doubling it to right. make sure you have those available funds. Number three? Number three is uh, with equity, and especially with the retirement years, um, if you've got a lot of sleeping equity, um, one out of two people in their 60s right now will live to 92 years old. Yahoo, that's me. <laughs> So one of the things is, is a lot of people only have a savings to sustain the life till they're 75 or 80. So how do we go about structuring all your assets to make sure that you can have uh, an awesome um, retirement and have enough uh, funds available for um, your kids, say, if they want to get into a mortgage or, or if you want to go traveling and that kind of thing? Grant Powell uh, owns his own mortgage brokerage firm. You're writing your second book, so I'm going to invite you back to uh, Biz One on One uh, when you've got that second book written. Thanks for Great. being here. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks.